Example 4. Let's find the derivative of the following function. h of x equals sine to the fifth of 3x plus 1 over 4x plus 1 to the third. Now this given function may be represented as a ratio of two functions, f and g, like this. So our f of x function will be equal to sine to the fifth of 3x plus 1, which is an expression we have in the top, and g of x will be equal to 4x plus 1 to the third, which we have in the bottom. Now, since we've represented this function as a ratio of two functions, its derivative should be found using the quotient rule. And here it goes. h prime of x equals f prime of x times g of x minus f of x times g prime of x divided by g squared of x. <coughs> now that formula involves two derivatives, f prime of x and g prime of x. And obviously the, these both uh, f and g functions are composite functions, and so to find their derivatives we're going to need to use the chain rule. Let's consider f of x first. Now, f of x is a composition of three functions. A polynomial we have in the brackets, the sine function, and the power. Prior to using chain rule, we should uh, figure out the order in which these functions are enclosed into f of x. And as we did in our previous pieces, we should use this idea that we want to estimate this, this given function at a certain point using calculator. So obviously, we'll start with this uh, polynomial we'll have in the brackets. So our f sub 1 of x function equals 3x plus 1. Then we'll use calculator to find sine of that value. So our f sub 2 of f sub 1 of x function equals sine of f sub 1. And then finally we'll raise this to the fifth power. So our f sub 3 function equals f sub 2 raised to the fifth. Now, we're going to need derivatives of these three functions to put them into the formula for chain rule. So, here they are. f sub 1 of x prime equals 3. f sub 2 prime of f sub 1 of x equals cosine of f sub 1, or if we substitute an expression for f sub 1 will have cosine of 3x plus 1 and f sub 3 prime of f sub 2 of f sub 1 of x equals 5 times f sub 2 to the fourth or if we substitute an expression for f sub 2 we'll have 5 times sine of 3x plus 1 raised to the 4th power. And according to the chain rule, f prime of x equals 3 times cosine of 3x plus 1 times 5 times sine to the fourth of 3x plus 1. So we're multiplying these three derivatives. And we obtain 15 times sine of 3x plus 1 to the fourth times cosine of 3x plus 1. Now that's the first derivative. And let me just move it to the top. So our f prime 
of x equals 15 times sine of 3x plus 1 raised to the fourth times cosine of 3x plus 1. times 4x plus 1 squared. 
x plus 1 squared. And we divide this whole thing by g of x squared, which is 4x plus 1 cubed and squared. We can factor out um, we can factor out three multiplied by four x plus one squared in the numerator. So we have this multiplied by five times sine to the fourth of 3x plus 1 times cosine of 3x plus 1 times 4x plus 1 minus 4 times sine to the fifth of 3x plus 1 divided by Four x plus one to the to the sixth and we can divide both numerator and denominator by this squared bracket. So this leaves us with three multiplied by five times sine to the fourth of 3x plus 1 times cosine of 3x plus 1 times 4x plus 1 minus 4 times sine to the fifth of 3x plus 1 divided by 4x plus 1 raised to the fourth power. And that would be the answer.